Good evening. My name is Maze Zoke. I just watched a clip that broke my heart. That is a clip of where the Anambra State law enforcers went to the street in Oka, where street hawkers and street traders were doing their businesses and then the unthinkable. They destroyed the wares in that market, or rather on the street. Recall that when Adams Oshomone did similar thing to a widow, we all cried out. If something like this happens in Lagos, how the internet will be awash with how injustice is being done. And this is happening in my own state of our number. Humanity calls that we condemn this. Professor Chukuma Chao Soludo, this is your government. No matter what, you may not be among those that have gone to the street to destroy the wares of the poor. However, they are acting with your name. If you are not aware, I hope this video finds you and finds you well. Those men behind this destruction should be dealt with. This is not a way to do it. Of course, none of us, myself included, I cannot support stitch trading where they cause traffic gridlocks and all the adjoining uh, security threats that it poses. But not to destroy this in this manner. This is nothing but barbaric. There are better ways to do this. Professor, your men could have gone at night to remove all the tables. They could have put in in the morning a mobile court and with law enforcement agencies, anyone that came after a series of warning. Because, you know, not only that um, these things ought to have you know, been done, but they should have been done transparently. They ought to have been warned with radio messages, with reflects saying, no more street trading here. This is prohibited. The people ought to also know that you have done this. You know, justice is not only to be served, but it must be seen to be served in this case. I am not aware, I never heard, that these people were warned. What stops your men from going around the market with megaphone recording their warnings that they ought to move away from this market? This never happened. Only to, for people to come out. Even the, you know, the one that broke my heart is the woman raising her hands, saying, please, please. And they still destroy that. What is the benefit of that destruction? Professor, this is not the reason why India Anambra voted you in. Yes, we want a prosperous and a clean Anambra state, but not in this manner. If at all these wares as a means of punishment should be taken, why must every single one of those wares be destroyed? They could have packed them gently, taken to their office, and penalized the woman or the you know whoever the trader is whenever they come. But that destruction. It's nothing but barbarism. There is no atom, there is no element that will justify what we have seen in this video. This video speaks volume. We pray and with this video, we hope this will be the last time something like this will happen in Anambra State. Anambra, we are not a barbaric people. When law is broken, there are... Uh, civil ways of resolving and ensuring that uh, those who broke the law are brought to justice or brought to book, but not to, you know, deal with one form of barbarism with another. This is not who we are. We are under number and we are law-abiding, and our government must also wear a human face. In this case, Professor, it appears your government, in terms of these act, didn't wear a human face. The number may give you a second chance. There is time to make amend. And I am Maze. It's okay. Peace out. Oh, I
Carry that thing, come on. Carry that thing, come on. 